Hey everyone, it's Sheena with Crooked Calligraphy and in today's video I am going to share with you my favorite paint pens for writing on glass. In case you want to make a gift or um, a personalized favor or something, so stay tuned. So the first thing I'm going to address is what kind of paint pen. So this is an acrylic paint pen, Molotow, it's a really popular brand, and this is a Sharpie oil-based paint pen. Um, I'm just going to write on this old bottle, and I have this handmade kind of wrist bolster thing. It's just an old sock filled with rice or beans. Alright, so here is the acrylic paint pen. And here's the Sharpie. And you can just see straight off the bat. I mean, the Molotow marker is great for a lot of things, but on glass, it's just not as opaque um, and thick on the glass. You can see how it's kind of, you can kind of see through the edges. Um, so first choice is I would pick a oil-based paint marker. So now that we've determined we want to go with an oil-based paint um, marker, I am going to test out these three kinds, the Sharpie oil-based paint pen, Deco Color by um, Marvi Uchida, and Pen Touch. So let's see how they work. All three pens sort of look pretty opaque and nice. Um, there's just a slight difference that I can feel in the ink flow from um, each of these markers. So the deco color definitely flows out really easily and nice and thick. If you like that, go for that one. Um, but to me, the pen touch felt the most um, balanced. So nice ink flow, but not too much. Um, the Sharpie was okay, but I have heard that there can be problems with the ink sort of blobbing down suddenly um, when you push down on the tip of the marker. So there have been some reviews of that. So overall, in terms of feel of marker, I would go with the pen touch. And now let's just let this um, dry for a few minutes and we'll test out sort of the resiliency and what takes these off of the glass. Okay, so I have let this dry for a few minutes and I'm just gonna do a quick like scratch test with my fingernail and then with my finger. And you can see, I mean, pretty much all three of them are on there. I mean, they're not gonna come off with just a light uh, scratching. So if you're just doing a bottle or something that's not gonna get handled too much, um, I wouldn't do like a drinking glass or anything that's gonna go in the dishwasher or get washed over and over again. But if it's like a bottle of wine or a decorative object or you know, a picture frame or something that's not going to get um, too manhandled, I mean, any of these will do, right? As far as staying power. Now let's see if I scratch a little bit harder, like with my nail. All right, so now I'm really scratching in there with my nail, and that Sharpie is kind of fudging. The deco color is really on there, and the pen touch is really on there. Okay, so if you're really gonna get like a little bit more use out of this and you want them to really stay on, then I would go with a pen touch or deco color. You can see when I'm like really scratching, the Sharpie does sort of start to come off a little bit. So if you're gonna put something in and out of a package or it's gonna be rubbing against something else, then these two, deco color and pen touch, seem to be a little bit more resistant. So what if you need to remove this writing or if you mess up and you need to sort of start over again. So let's just test out a couple common things you might use. So rubbing alcohol is one you might think of, nail polish remover or acetone. Um, and let's test them out. So I'm gonna put rubbing alcohol on this paper towel. And, all right, that is not removing anything. All right, let's try the acetone or 
nail polish remover next. Okay, so interesting results, right? The Sharpie comes right off, the pen touch comes right off with nail polish remover. The deco color is on there. And it's really like not coming off. Even when I scratch with the acetone, I mean, if I really sort of get in there and start to like really scrape away, and you can see like a little bit of it is chipping away, but this really is nail polish remover resistant. So, okay. What can you use to remove the deco color? If say you're working with this and you make a mistake on a, a bottle for a gift or something, um, I actually found what works is vegetable oil. So because deco color I think is oil based for some reason, the formulation, um, let's see what happens. dab of vegetable oil or I mean I think this will work with really any kind of oil and you can see that that does take off the deco color completely so and then before you write on this surface again you want to clean off all that oil residue with the rubbing alcohol all right, I'm gonna do one final test and that's just to see I've written those three again with those three paint pens. And I'm just gonna see what happens when I rub oil. So this is vegetable oil, but it could be like, you know, oily, greasy fingers or anything like that. What happens if I just rub oil across them? All right. So you see the oil removes just the deco color, but it leaves the Sharpie and the pen touch. But acetone or nail polish remover removes these two and not the deco color. Okay, so the conclusion is which paint pen works best for writing on glass? Depends what you're going to use the glass for. Um, Sharpie is really widely available and pretty inexpensive. You can get it at most like arts and craft stores and it writes like fine on glass and if you're just going to handle it normally and not scratch it up too much and not be too um, hard on the glass surface then this will work totally fine. Um, I have heard and experienced a little bit of like finickiness with the ink sort of blobbing down from the tip of the pen from, but for the most part it works fine. Um, pen touch is a little bit harder to find. I believe you can get it online and at like specialty art stores. Um, it flows a little bit more consistently and nicely than the Sharpie and it also stays on um, even when oil gets all over it. So maybe if you're going to be writing on some sort of um, food, you know, container, like for example, I keep vegetable oil in this little spray bottle and I have used pen touch to write oil on here um, because the oil does not rub off that pen. All right, and finally, deco color. If you really want something to stay on and resist kind of acetone or rubbing alcohol or scratching, um, but you're not too worried about oil getting anywhere near there, um, deco color is a good choice. And these both, and it flows, um, the ink flows really well out of it. So some people might prefer that. Some people might prefer the ink flow of the pen touch. Um, so yeah, those are my results. Um, all of them you can see are sort of erasable and redoable. So go ahead and try these out and create like a gift, personalize something, maybe a bottle of wine or a bottle of scotch or um, whatever, uh, a picture frame, a mirror to give to someone and you can always erase it you know, using whatever works best for the pen and go ahead and have fun and experiment.